Hey guys, it's Metro here. I have something to show you that's pretty special. It's really hard to capture this in kind of photograph, so I decided to make a video for it. Um, this is something um, that I made today. Uh, as some of you know, I also run uh, SkinSolutions.com, which makes custom cases um, for belt pouch for where the custom belt pouches or cases for multi tools and phones and other kind of EDC gadgets. And um, this is based off the Magnum design that I make, uh, except I removed the pockets and uh, took away some of the features, but added some of my own. Um, this is for a, a friend of mine, uh, or a friend's wife, uh, his name, her, it's for Dan, Dan's wife, Donna, uh, who's just getting into shooting and uh, wanted something really nice to shoot because, uh, you know, it, it just, you know, when you have something special, it's nice and it makes you shoot better. Um, so I made this this afternoon. Um, this is a pink Pearl Kieranite uh, Metpro Unishot. Um, and I took away the TTF component because it was just made for over top, over the top with some 1632 tubes uh, for quarter inch steel balls. Um, and it's been buffed. Uh, it's really nice. The, I'm not really a pink kind of guy, but you know, this turned out really nice in the end. Um, and then the Coco Bolo um, Metro, <laughs> a Metro skull there. Um, so this is, this is for Donna. This is, um, it's, it's going to be great. She's just getting into shooting and and uh, shooting some small ammo with some light pull. She has arthritis in her hands, so it's gonna be nice to have something that's easy pull uh, and something small that she can do a pinch grip with or uh, when she gets used to it, she can actually get uh, into the finger thumb brace. But more on the pouch here, um, I made this because I wanted her to have something special to carry it around. Um, it, like I said, it's based off a Skin Solutions uh, Magnum pouch, so it's the same dimensions this way and this way, except I took away the divider that's the inside and added this gusseted pocket in the front and also took away the side pockets uh, and added these two um, loops here. I'll more on that in a second. I also swapped the positions of the um, the Velcro. I normally put the hook side on the body and then the loop side on the flap because um, the loop side will burn out faster than the hook side. So, but for this one, I imagine if you're, you know, shooting and, and it was already on your belt like this, you open it up, pull your slingshot out, and then tuck the flap in like so. So if you wanted to, you could holster your, your slingshot like that. On the front here, there's lots of room for lots of ammo. Um, if you want to put a quarter inch or three, three eighths in there or five sixteenths or whatever, um, there's a spot for some extra bands. Uh, there's some... Uh, extra pockets on the side for extra bands, or if you want to put a pan or a small flashlight or something like there if you're if you're shooting uh, late into the evening, um, and, or if you want to mark your targets if you're doing that kind of thing. Um, down here, I put these two loops here because sometimes you would have a, a magnet that hangs off it, so you can actually hold some of your steel balls down here. But if you're just shooting marbles and stuff like that, you can actually just put them in the gusset pocket. So um, yeah, imagine that's that's what it is. I, I also made it purple uh, so Dan wouldn't steal it because Dan. Um, He's a he's a hell of a shot, and uh, he loves all things slingshots too. But um, I wanted to make sure that Donna, this was untouched and this was Donna's stuff. So I made it purple instead of black or whatever, um, so that Dan wouldn't steal it. <laughs> so I got you. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm hoping to send this down. I have two other, I have one more shooter to make for Dan. Um, already finished one for for him. Um, so I'm hoping that will get done in the next day or so, and then I'm going to ship this down to Alabama. Um, and then he's going to take it to the Midwest Slingshot Tournament and hopefully uh, score some uh, good points with it. So thanks for watching. And um, look out at SkinSolutions.com and also MetrogradeGoods.com for this in the future. Hopefully I can uh, tune it so that it works really well for most of my slingshots. So we'll see how it works. Thanks for watching, guys.